All right, Coach, opening comments about tonight's game. Uh, I give credit to Norfolk State. They played a heck of a basketball game. Uh, anytime a team shoots 65% from the field, you're going to have a hard time beating them. To counter that, we went maybe 13 for 27 from the free throw line. And uh, you're not going to win too many games that you shoot that poorly from the free throw line. Something else that shows you that probably free throws were the deciding factor of the game is we forced them to 22 turnovers. And plus we had 67 field goal attempts to their 44. So again, it goes back to defending and hitting your free throws. Coach, a, a real rough patch to start the game. I know you only didn't have a field goal in the first seven minutes, and you kind of play catch up from there. Hey, yes, you can't do that against Norfolk State. And that's why they're one of the top teams in our conference year after year. Uh, starting in the hole like that uh, was disappointing because it put us in a position that we had to play catch up all night long. And when you play desperate, you do some things that desperate people, it's hard to execute when you're in desperation all the time. Coach, you talk about the turnovers. Uh, how Was there anything defensively you wish you would have done differently? Well, they're, they're a well-balanced basketball team. They had some guys tonight that had career nights. And, uh, number 11, I can't remember his name, but he jumped up and shot the basketball. It's probably his best shooting night on the season. That's something that we really didn't account for. Short, um, number 10, very effective offensive player. I just wish we would have defended them better and tried to take away their strength instead of letting them get in their comfort zone offensively. And they did a good job of knocking down shots. Uh, Coach, I thought you did some good things there um, last 10 minutes of the first half to get yourself back in the game. Uh, talk about what was working for you there. Well, Karan Wright. Karan came off the bench and shot the ball very well. Uh, but one thing I know is you can't depend on jump shots to win games against good teams. You have to get something from the paint. And right now we're struggling to get a consistent score from inside the paint. And when you do that, some nights you'll be really good and some nights you'll be really bad if you're depending on jump shots and not a person on the block that you can throw it into and get production from. So until we get someone in the paint to give us a solid production, you know, we'll be good and we'll be bad. Hopefully more good nights than bad. Get ready for Hampton on Monday. So how, how, how are the guys after this game? Well, they, they were pretty disappointed in the outcome of the game because when you look at the stat sheet, mm -hmm. it looked like a lot of our problems were self-inflicted tonight. So you got 24 hours to get over a win, and you got 24 hours to enjoy, well, 24 hours to get over a loss, and 24 hours to celebrate a win. We got to start preparation for Hampton first thing in the morning and toss it up Monday night.